Timor-Leste is one of the world's youngest nations and is challenged with raising its population out of poverty and food insecurity. Fish play an important role both for livelihoods and diets. Most fish are sourced close to shore and through small-scale activities using a variety of fishing gear. Catches tend to be very seasonal and include a broad range of species. In some places, fishers use fish aggregating devices to attract oceanic fish closer to shore. The Timor-Leste National Development Strategy recognizes the importance of fish for improving diets and nutrition. In 2017, the National Food and Nutrition Security Policy set the goal to increase local fish consumption from 6 to 10 kilograms per capita by 2020. Improving fish distribution to inland areas is a key challenge to reaching those fish consumption targets. Knowing where fish are traded to, how and by whom is important to identify useful entry points for improving fish distribution. In this study, we characterize different local fish distribution channels. We track transactions from catch landing sites into adjacent villages through trade, barter, gifting and sharing. This allows us to map the trade of fish to district consumers further inland and to urban consumers in Dili. The study reveals critical factors for the operation of the distribution networks. People's social networks, for example, largely dictate their ability to trade and ultimately how far they can distribute fish. The relationships between fishers, local resident traders and mobile traders who travel daily between coastal and inland areas are critical. These have evolved through personal relationships and strong social ties. Skilled entrepreneurs use these networks to develop ways of trading with perishable fish under simple circumstances. Physical structure also has big impact on volumes and routes of fish. Improved roads, for example, promote distribution, whereas extreme topography and treacherous conditions inhibit trade. Mobile phone networks have been particularly transformative in the way fish is traded today. The existing trade systems reflect strong local capacity to deal with a range of challenges to distribute fish. However, meeting the national targets for better access to nutritious fish will require more fish to be traded further and more consistently. Our findings highlight the importance of local practices that have evolved over time. These determine how fish is delivered to household consumers and how benefits are derived along distribution chains. So far, initiatives to improve fish distribution have focused on making upgrades to infrastructure, focusing support on utilizing and empowering the social capital between the various market actors and their collective ingenuity to overcome barriers instead will do more to improve trade and distribution.